Five clocks are being tested in the laboratory, exactly at noon, as determined by the WWV time signal. On successive days of the of a week, the clocks read as in the following table. Rank the five clocks according to the relative value as good timekeepers, best to worst. Justify your choice. Now, if you look at the clocks, all of them are absolutely terrible because not one of them is consistent from day to day. And we have to figure out which one's the least terrible and which one is the most terrible. Now I'll admit, I'm not exactly a big fan of this problem because a lot of it is kind of just busy work and what it asks. And uh, here's why. Because you want to get a good feel for which one is the best and which one's the worst, uh, the easiest way to do this problem is to kind of map out uh, how much each day, ch each time changes from day to day. So to do that, I'm going to write another table here uh, with my little uh, brush tool. So for each letter, A, B, C, D, and E, I w I'm going to make a little note of, yeah, that's all of them, of how much each time changes in seconds as the days go by. And I already did that in advance, so you don't have to sit here and watch me work out the math. But if, as you can see here, from A, for instance, you can see from A to, from Sunday to Monday, we go from 36.40 to 56. So we've just, so exactly 24 hours later, we've jumped ahead uh, 16 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a note of how you'd move the times if you wanted to correct the times. So for exa example, right here, I'm going to write minus 16 right there. And for Monday to Tuesday, it's going to be the same thing, minus 16. And I'm just going to keep making notes of how the time goes by each one. It's not going to line up perfectly with a table, but it's all right. It doesn't matter much. We're making our own table here. And then for B, it goes from minus 3 to plus 5 to minus 10 to plus 5. Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let me be a little bit, let me at least be a little bit more consistent here. To plus 6 to minus 7. Now before I go on, let's see exactly what's happening here. So for A, for instance, our time range is, the correction is between 15 and 17 seconds. So it's not too bad in all honesty, because the key here is that even though the times aren't accurate, and even though it keeps, it's slow, or, or sorry, it's fast by about 15 to 17 seconds, because the how far it's off each day is relatively close to one another, we can kind of we can, uh, if we were to try and correct them, it would it would not be that hard to do it because we'd reprogram the clock so it's a little bit slower by about 16 seconds. Now in the case of B, for instance, here it would be a little bit harder because the range we have. Uh, in, how, in terms of how far off the time is, ranges from uh, 3 seconds to 10 seconds. So we have a larger range there, meaning that this clock seems like it's going to be a little bit worse than A when it comes to accuracy and how good it is at timekeeping. Now let's keep this trend up with, 50, with uh, C. And what you'll notice with C is it's kind of pointless for me to map all this out because with C, every single time is off by 58 seconds. Meaning that this time is actually very consistent and it would be very easy to fix. Meaning this is pretty good. And the same thing applies to D. So D is always uh, 67 seconds off for each day as we move on here. So both C and D are both pretty good because they're always consistent in how far apart the intervals are. However, we're going to say that out of them, C is the better one because 58 seconds is still closer to the actual time that 67 is. But both would be a better option. Both would be easier to fix than the others. And finally for E, let's see what we've got here. So we've got 70 
plus 55. Plus 2? It's a very big range. Plus 20. Plus 10. And again, plus 10. Now, E is absolutely terrible, as you can see, because our range goes from 2 here all the way up to 70. It's very inconsistent in where its times are off. So that would be the hardest clock to fix, hands down. So now, the question actually asks us to rank out their rank their relative value as good timekeepers from best to worst. So let's do that. So our best is definitely going to be either C or D. And I'm going to say C because the amount, of as I said earlier, the number of seconds by which it's off is closer to the intended one than D is. So I'm going to say C and then D. And those two are perfectly off at a consistent interval. But A, B, and E are going to be a little trickier. So as I mentioned earlier, A, you've got a range from 15 to 17 seconds off. That's pretty good. Better than B, which goes from 3 to 10 seconds off. So it's a 7 second range in terms of magnitude from the intended value. So A is the next best, followed by B. And finally, E is the worst, because it's got that 2 to 70 second range. So this is the ranking uh, of clocks we have from best to worst.